Mr. Angus, why now to press Prime Minister uh, Trudeau about uh, and the Liberal government about something that happened back in 2015? The fact that the Catholic Church was able to walk on the money that they owed in the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement has remained an outstanding sore since uh, 2015. Because we know that they would have had to pay much more in terms of damages if this had gone to, uh, to court. So the federal government and the churches came up with this idea that they would limit their liabilities and all the churches would pay some money and then the survivors would get paid out. Um, that hasn't worked out. Mm -hmm. And the fact that a decision was made to let the federal, at the federal court to let the Catholic Church walk was highly problematic. But now we're learning that um, after the Trudeau government was brought in, the appeal against the Catholic Church was dropped. And now we also find out that then Indigenous Minister Jody wilson rabel wasn't told about this. So who made this decision mm -hmm. to let the Catholic Church lose a lot of the money they owe? Yeah. You know, another thing, your party, the NDP party, is going to be expected, uh, you know, to support this liberal minority government. Is this something that you are going to use as leverage, I guess, um, you know, that support to get something going on this deal again? I, I think that all Canadians are expecting uh, that the Catholic Church will be held accountable because they walked on the obligations. They have not turned over the documents. We're so many bodies of children at various residential schools. This is an this is bigger, I think, than a minority government. This is this is a national reckoning, and the Catholic Church is going to have to play their part, whether they get dragged kicking and screaming or not. Mm -hmm. And we certainly expect that the Prime Minister, in the interest of the powerful uh, history that's happening right now, can explain to us who made that decision mm -hmm. in his new government that let the Catholic Church Welsh on their obligations. Absolutely. Uh, you know, and speaking of new government, we're, you know, we're 10 days away from a new cabinet. Um, do you believe that Carolyn Bennett and Mark Miller should retain their uh, cabinet seats in uh, Crown Indigenous Relations and Indigenous Services Canada? Or do you think there should be new people bro that are brought into those roles? I, I think the, minister, the Prime Minister's choice on this will send a really clear message. Uh, Carolyn Bennett, uh, should not be in that role. I've known Ms. Bennett for many years. I've worked with her on many files, but uh, I think she has become a toxic presence in the issues of reconciliation, particularly her obsession in going after the survivors of St. Anne's Residential School and refusing to deal with the fact that this was a massive miscarriage of justice. I, once again, the collusion of the Catholic Church and the federal government suppressing evidence, protecting the names of the perpetrators, having hundreds of cases heard in hearings without proper evidence is a miscarriage of justice. And I don't think Ms. Bennett should stay in that role. I think it would send a really wrong message. I think Minister Miller uh, has underperformed. I think he's very well-meaning. I don't think he has stood up to some of the challenges that are coming. And so I, I'm interested to see what the Prime Minister uh, is willing to, to do on this file. But the Prime Minister really needs to understand that if we're going to move towards reconciliation, we have to start dismantling that bureaucracy. We have to dismantle that department. We have to show that these, the government understands its collusion in the crimes against the people that meet the test of international crimes against humanity. They got to start getting serious about this. Mm -hmm. And this is what we've heard from survivors, but we're hearing this across the country right now. So this is a moment for the prime minister, I think, to start over again and to try and repair some of the damaged relations that he's created over the last number of years with his decisions. Well, we shall see if that happens. Uh, Charlie Angus, thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to chat. Thank you so much for having me on.